hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how we can connect a mysql database to django website which is hosted on cpanel on a shared hosting platform in the previous video i have shown how to create django website in cpanel i will put the link in the description for that video you can uh, follow that video and uh, once you create the website you can uh, come to this video to see how we can connect the mysql database to that cpanel so i am using chemi cloud web hosting provider in the previous video also i have used the same hosting provider i will put the link in the description you can explore it it has lot of benefits in comparison to other web hosting providers that's why i will show the demo here using the same web hosting provider now first of all we'll have to go to the chemi cloud web hosting provider so this is the dashboard let me just uh, refresh it and uh, we will have to go to the cpanel here because most of the things that we will do it will be on cpanel so first of all we'll have to see what are the python applications that we have for that go a little bit down and uh, click on setup python app under software section here you will be able to see all the python application that we have hosted so in the previous video i have uh, shown how to create this web application django on cpanel as a demo so we will use the same website to connect the mysql database now first thing we'll have to do here is that create a database here so for that go back to the main home page of cpanel go a little bit down and you will find database section and under that you will find mysql database wizard so click on it first thing we'll have to create a database so just give a name here i will just give it uh, django and uh, click on next step here we will have to create a username i will use the same name that is django for the username we'll have to give a strong password here so i have given the password here and uh, we'll have to repeat the password create user now we'll have to give uh, the privileges just select on all privileges so it will give all kind of permissions to this user to that uh, database now click on uh, make changes and once you do the make changes the task is completed return to mysql database here you will be able to see all the database that we have created and the username so now we'll have to go back to the cpanel home page and uh, then we'll have to go to the file manager because in the file manager we have all the files which are related to our django project so django cpanel is the folder where we have all the files and inside that file we'll have to go to the main project uh, file directory in my case it is django project select the settings.py in this file only we'll have to modify a few things so that the mysql database will be connected to this django project so just click on it click on edit here go a little bit down and you will find a section called database so the by default the database is configured to connect with sqlite 3 but we want mysql database so what we will do we will just hash it out and now you will have to type all the lines that i have just pasted here so don't worry i will give this section in the comment section as well you can copy it from the sorry in the description section and uh, just paste it but uh, here you will have to do some modification because uh, most of the spaces here are empty for example name so it means the database name so the database name that we have is tacky vl underscore django i believe the username also it's the same so make sure you type the username for your database here and the password that i have given is uh, here host you should keep it as localhost because your database your hosting is with the same hosting provider that is chemi cloud now we are done with the settings.py file don't forget to save the changes and uh, once you save the changes just click on this file and now we'll have to go to another called models.py 
and models.py file you will find it in your app directory so in my case it is a ytdl i'll just have to go inside this and find a file called models.py so this is basically where we will create the tables inside the database now click on edit and uh, here you will be able to see these two lines only but we need little bit extra here i have a demo table so, so basically this class will create a table called demo table and uh, these two will be the columns inside it now in your case it may not be the same you will have to create a lot of uh, tables based on your project requirements and uh, then you will have to click on save changes now once you do it you can close this file and go back to the main c panel and uh, under the database sections you will go to my php admin so basically php my admin is the graphical user interface to see all the database now here you can see techiebl underscore django so we have the database but uh, there are no tables here though we have created the tables in uh, models.py you will not be able to see the tables here for that what you have to do you will have to go to the python application here and from here we'll have to find the home directory for this application so for that click on edit application and uh, on top of this you will be able to see this line enter the virtual environment so what you have to do you just have to click on this area and it will be automatically copied to your clipboard now we will have to go to terminal which you will be able to find it under same home page c panel and uh, search for a section called advanced and here you will be able to find the terminal so inside the terminal you will paste the line that we just copied it click on enter and here we'll have to install a library called uh, mysql connector python so to do that type uh, pip install mysql hyphen connector hyphen python so this library basically helps us the django application to connect to the mysql hit enter and it will be downloading the required files and then you will install it uh, on your system you'll just have to wait for a couple of uh, minutes here and uh, the installation process will be completed you can see here successfully installed mysql connector python so now you will have to do two more steps here like uh, or you have to execute two more command but before that just uh, uh, list out the files that you find it here and uh, here you should be able to find a file called manage.py so if this is the file that you see here then proceed uh, next and type uh, manage dot py and uh, type make migration so now hit enter it is showing uh, command not found so not a problem so let's do it from the python app itself so just go back to the main cpanel home page and go back to the setup the python app uh, section click on it and uh, we will click on edit application for which we want the database connection edit the application and here if you'll go a little bit uh, down you will see a section called execute python script so here you'll have to type manage.py make migrations now once you type it click run script so it will execute uh, the script and uh, you can see the status script su completed successfully and little bit down if you will see return code 0 here so you can conclude that uh, this particular uh, command was executed successfully now the next command that you have to use is manage.py migrate and again click on run script so basically these two commands will create all the database by referring the file called models.py now both the commands has been uh, successfully executed now you go to your cpanel home page and again go to php my admin now here now we should be able to see many tables are created under the database called 
techiebl.zango. So the demo.table is the one that we created in our models.py file. So this is the process to connect your MySQL database to your uh, Django web application which is hosted on cPanel or shared hosting. So let me know if you have any question in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification from my channel.